Hey guys, welcome back to the Ride Right Waxing and UK One Wheel channel. So we are on a set of skis, not just one, not two, but three sets. Not all in for a service though. These are just in to have the edges done and the base rails done. Um, the gentleman himself owns these skis as a family set. He's going to be going off to the Alps, um, to St Anton actually. Uh, one of the best places I personally think in the Alps. I absolutely love St Anton. I've um, got a real connection to the place. Um, What's all these edged? So he's going to service them himself, which is absolutely fine. Um, but they're in a completely different arrangement of conditions. Um, from this set just being here, this atomic set, which you can see is very, very rusty. These were accidentally left out in a rain. Big no-no for skis. So this one, which has obviously got quite a few battle scars, sadly, on the bottom. I would love to get my hands on that, but never mind. These just need a good edge and a sharpen to this Nautica set, which we've got here. Base on these actually isn't too bad at all. Uh, a new set, fresh set of wax. I think these will be ready to go, but the edges do need some detail. They are very rounded. There is no edge there. And that's always a good way to check with your nail on the back of the ski. So let's have a quick look at these, pop you in my hand and have a detailed look to see what we're going to be doing with the edging on these three set of skis. Now, normally I do a before and after. Now this set here we've got is a Nautica. We have got the K2s, which are here, and we have the Atomics. Now, as you can see, the Atomic ski, if we were to zoom in, uh, is horrendous. Now that's a set that's been left in the rain. They really are quite nasty. So that is going to definitely take up a whole file uh, in destruction, but we'll get these looking as good as we physically can. It's a shame I can't get my hands onto them because I'd be laying P-TEX and base scraping these and I'd get these looking really, really good. They'll take quite a bit of work. On the set of K2s we've got here, again, rails do need some love, absolutely. And sadly, the base does need a lot of love. Um, would benefit from taking these to a proper machine shop possibly or me spending hours of p-texting which I'd be more than happy to do but they aren't very sharp at all now the Nautica bases actually aren't too bad the actual base on this actual is isn't too bad you let set of wax on this it'll be fine but they just basically my nail and even me pushing there is nothing they are not sharp at all they are very, very dull. So we're going to get these done first. We're then going to do the K2s and then I'm going to kill my file because I don't want to kill my file first. Um, I'm going to get the Nauticas done, K2s, and on to the Atomics. But yes, let's get these rails nice and sharp. Sorry, right, like I was saying, these Nordic skis, these are going to be going to St. Anton. Now, St. Anton is quite a challenging resort especially come back into town um, but an awesome place you can go over to Zers, Steubenleck, uh, obviously you go to Leck sorry Steubenberg, Leck um, it's a massive area and you've got some real high altitude skiing and there's some real technical off-piece stuff as well so uh, um, yeah absolutely awesome place if you've not been to St Anton it's a must do on your list um, I can't speak highly enough of the place and the town is just beautiful um, it really is and you can go across the town um, and you can catch a train from Innsbruck straight into St Anton which is just awesome you're stood at the train station with your snowboard or your skis and there's a chap with a briefcase and a suit on it's like the most random thing and it isn't dear so uh, fly into Innsbruck jump on the train straight to St Anton literally across the road and you're at the bottom of the uh, chairlift ready to rock and roll but Let's get these skis looking great. What we're going to be using is a multitude of things. We are going to be using a base file. We've got a diamond stone. We have another color diamond stone. So from coarse to medium to fine, we've got a brand new file, um, a gummy stone. And we're going to get these things looking ship shape. We're going to work on this set, just do the edges, and then we'll clean them up and just put them away. Then we're going to work on the K2s, and then we're going to work on the atomic. So, uh, and then we'll have a quick before and after just on the edges so you guys can see how well they have come up. So sadly, like I say, we're not doing the bases, so we're not, not going to be getting the shine back into that and adding wax and stuff. Um, it's just purely the rails. Let's crack on with this shot.
Okay, so you can now see this sharp edge. The whole side of this has been sharpened by using said file in said device. And you can actually now see. You always a good way to tell how sharp your rails are. Be it on the side of the mountain, just before you go away, you can actually see the, see the shine in that rail, number one. Number two, there's no rust. Number three, get your nail, and this is very gently, and I'm literally, no pressure at all, all the way down this ski. And you can see, and get it to focus, all this is my nail material. So to bring my finger towards, There we go. So that is super sharp. And that goes from literally from the end down here all the way to the tip. <clears throat> and the benefit being it's underneath where the actual boot itself sits. So that's where you're going to want your brake and you want your sharpest edge possible to hold your mat heel. But all the way down through here, no pressure, literally, whatsoever. It's super sharp. So there we go. That's one side. We're going to do the other side and then we're going to do the other ski. I just wanted to show how sharp we can get them. Again, by using different diamond stones on the bottom, kind of a liquid as well, to really polish them up. And then using this side angle. And it's ever simple. You simply put it on the side of the rail and you drag down the rail one direction. Making sure it's at the correct angle, which is 90 degrees. And then you get that lovely sharp finish. Right, let's crack on with the other side. Right, looking at this Nautica ski, you can see the direction is going down the rail. And if we flip across to this one, this one I haven't done yet, and you can see it's very itty bitty. And that's where you want that kind of consistent shine all the way down the rail. All the way down. So that's the one I have done. We switch across. Let me get some focus. That is the one I haven't done. So we're going to get this side looking a lot like this side just here. And they are coming up super sharp. Now you can see the material coming off. This is all the little bits of metal. If I were to pick one of these up, it's basically like a spiral of metal, which is just coming off. So we're taking all the proper raised bits and making this ski super sharp. Right, so that's that side, and now this is this side, all finished. Massive improvement, huge improvement, and super sharp. We're going to do the side rails, and as you can tell, that is the same ski. Those rails are looking great. Let's get on and do the side. Here we go. Okay, so this ski is 
uber sharp. You can see that rail, that reflection all the way down. This ski's now done. This ski I'm just about to do. Um, and again, we are just doing the edges. However, here in the Ryder Waxing Workshop, I can't give this ski back when I can see a gouge like that and that. And you think, well, that's nothing too bad until you see that. I'm going to have to fill that. That's just not within my nature not to fill that with a bit of P-Tech. So I'm going to pop you on the stand because we, I'm going to do that, then base scrape it. And then I can get onto these rather nasty rails just here and just here. So let's put some P-Techs in, get this base scraped. It's a bit of a little bonus for the customer. Um, I think these are his daughter's skis. Um, and it'll just prolong the life of the ski and it'll make it easier for him when he comes to wax it because this is just going to fill up the wax and be an absolute nightmare. So uh, let's do that and uh, then we'll get on and sharpen the rails on this one. Right, okay, so what we've done is we've just cleaned and detailed the base of the ski. We've just citrus cleaned it. And that is now where we made that repair. Just there. Uh, so much better. You can see a little bit of remnants of the P-Tex, but that is super smooth, ready for the client to actually wax. And we're going to get on now and edge this ski. But I think you'll agree, a thousand times better. Right, let's get on and edge this ski. Okay, so here we are. These are the Atomics. And uh, yeah, the customer accidentally didn't realize they were outside and they were left in the rain. And that is the consequence of the rain, the English rain. So we got to somehow try and pull these back. Now again, just remind, we're only doing the rails. Okay, I did cheat a little bit on these K2s because I did do the P-Tex, the base is so much better. And that will just make the customer when waxing those skis job a lot easier. And uh, they've come up lovely. So we're gonna get these rails as nice and as shiny as possible. there's a side rail and the good news is it can be saved we have got a super you can put that up on camera there's my nail. they are super super sharp a lot of work has just gone into these but all the way down the rail you can see a massive comparison there from that row to that row. So, good news. Just a lot more elbow grease to get that one. And we've only done one side of this one, <laughs> so we've got to do the other rail as well. But the good news is we can get them back and they are proper proper sharp really good 
So very happy with that. Let's crack on, finish this ski and get on to that one. Here we go. So from this to this. Mint. Okay, so that brings us to a close. Very different in this episode. Three sets of skis, all need edging, all in completely different conditions. Um, again, note to self, do not leave your skis in the rain. That was a lot of work to get those looking ship shape and shiny, but we have pulled them back and they are very, very good. And I am very, very pleased. These bad boys here are super sharp. The customer was very worried about slipping on ice. So I have spent a lot of time in detail in getting these super sharp for him. We've done tip the edges on all of these. We've done the P-Tex on those K2s. I think they're his daughter's keys, just to make his life a little bit easier when he comes to wax them. And hopefully he should have a great time waxing them and a great time in St. Anton. But guys, that's another video, a different one from the Rado Waxing channel. But thank you very much indeed. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, of course, but obviously hit that share. Share this for your videos, for your friends, put it on Facebook, Instagram. Get it out there. I'll be more than happy people to uh, contact me if you're in the Devon area and if you need your ski serviced, you need them edged, or whatever else you need to done to your skis or snowballs. But guys, thanks ever so much indeed for watching. And until next time, we will see you soon.